Welcome and thank you for your interest in the Live Ad Reader, which has recently been updated to include a couple of groundbreaking functions. First is a live read data lookup to automate the selection of a specific script to be read depending on real-time conditions. This could be helpful in fulfilling an advertiser's request to advertise snow chains when it is snowing locally. Second is an autofill function for generic reads. This is helpful when one or more advertisers buy a time or temperature check. The real-time data gathering app, in this case for the weather, can be set to gather multiple locations of weather data. So the configuration that you now see of this application includes the weather station call sign for the API query, our location descriptor, a dump file of data for audit purposes, and a simple export file for the live read application to pull from. In this way, each radio station can be assigned to look at the weather from a specific data source or multiple sources. The actual app that performs real-time data fetch is a console app that runs 24-7, periodically gathering data based on the frequency of the data refresh. I've used the weather as an example here, but other real-time feeds are very plentiful, such as gold and silver spot prices, stock market and future indexes, and specific stocks, sports scores, oil and commodity prices, earthquakes, local traffic conditions, airport delays, marine conditions, cyber threats, breaking news, and COVID numbers, and countless others, only limited by our imagination. Any one of the aforementioned data sources can be used to select the script or to fill in the blanks of a script so that the live read reflects current information or conditions. A common radio practice is to allocate one cart ID for a live read type, such as a time or temperature check. The autofill function of the live read prompter allows scripting this in the production mode. And then in the on-air mode, the real-time values are automatically presented to the reader. To create scripts that are used due to a real-time value or condition, simply go to the production mode where the stored scripts are maintained. In here, a summary script with no actual script instructions becomes the focal point to see all of the scripts associated with a particular script number. When that event is highlighted, all the scripts for that cart number appear with their word count and estimated duration. Each individual script can be edited by double-clicking on the script on the right. Highlighting each one displays the script text and the trigger value and the associated data source. Other particulars are configured in each station's options. This is the actual data dump that the Live Read program reads from. Here I have five weather stations data collected. The Live Read program is set to read from one or more of these locations to make its script decisions. The Live Read prompter is currently operable, but in development, and will facilitate a daily script populating scheme that, if supported by the traffic system, scripts will be imported with the log schedule and used alongside scripts that are resident in the program. We thank you for your time and interest.